I am Dr. P. Rajkumari, Associate Professor in Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So today I am going to tell about the vector calculus. So what is the vector calculus? Where we can use this vector calculus in our daily life? What are the applications of vector calculus in various fields? This is our lecture in our video. So first of all coming to introduction, vector calculus or vector analysis is concerned with differentiation and integration of vector fields. Primarily in 3D dimensional Euclidean space. The term vector calculus is sometimes used as a synonym for the broader subject of multivariable calculus which includes vector calculus as well as partial differentiation and multiple integration. So here both are included and partial differentiation and multiple integration. So here vector calculus plays an important role in differential geometry and in the study of partial differential equation. So, in these two parts, vector calculus plays an important role. It is very important to calculate and to study the partial differential equation and differential geometry. So, here in this chapter, vector differential calculus is considered which extends the basic concepts of differential calculus such as continuity and differentiability to vector functions in a simple and natural way. So here in this chapter we are going to know about the basic concepts of differential calculus. In that differential calculus we are going to know about the continuity and differentiability of a vector functions. And some of the new concepts are introduced here. Those are the new concepts of gradient divergence and curl are introduced. So here in this chapter we are going to know about the gradient of the vector, divergence of a vector and curl of a vector. First of all what are the applications of vector calculus in engineering we are going to know now. So an architect engineer uses integration in determining the amount of necessary materials to construct curve shape constructions. So here we are using integration in determining the amount of necessary materials to construct curve shape const constructions and also to measure the weight of the structure. So here calculus is used where we can use this to improve the architecture not only of the buildings but also of important infrastructure such as bridges. Here we are going to use this calculus to improve the not only for the buildings we can use for the infrastructures also. So in electronic electrical engineering Calculus is used to determine the exact length of power cable. So we should know about the exact length of power cable to connect the substations, right? So what is that exact length? We can know by using the calculus. So the exact length of power cable needed to connect the substations. So next, uh, space flight engineers frequently used this calculus when planning for long missions. So why about the long distances to plan that? So here we are using the calculus. Next coming to vector calculus in robotics. Vector calculus in robotics for the research path integration in research navigation and Path optimization technique using vector calculus. 
here in the robotics we are going to use the research path integration the robot navigation and path optimization technique using vector calculus the future technology in vector graphics also we are going to know about the human, human robot so here for the human robot we are taking here example movement temptation so we can observe that movement temptation in the figures here how the man is doing a person is doing in the same way the robot is moving this is the movement imitation example so, application of vector calculus in robotics engineering so in robots as mechanism so multiple type robot having three dimension so here we are using open loop mechanism and chain mechanism if you observe the figures here closed loop for four bar mechanism here these two are the closed loop and open loop mechanisms so based on this we can uh, use the calculus in the robotics engineering so next one is application in medical science so in the medical side in so many ways we can use this vector calculus in the dentist uh, to search about the dent detection also uh, some of the um, applications we are having in medical side here biologist use differential calculus to determine the exact rate of growth in a bacterial culture when different variables such as temperature and food source are changed so here different variables are there what are they temperature and food sources if they are changed also what is the growth exact rate of growth in bacteria we can calculate by using the differential calculus next coming to application in chemistry so where we can use this vector calculus so it is used to determine the rate of chemical reaction and to determine some necessary information of radioactive decay reaction so here we can know about the some necessary information and to determine the rate of chemical reaction so in these two ways we can use calculus in next one is applications in statistics Stat statistics we can use calculus to evaluate survey data so where when you can use the survey data to help develop business plans for different companies so how to develop the companies to develop that companies what are the business plans that survey data we can get we can evaluate that survey data by using the calculus only next one is application in research analysis an operations research analyst will use calculus when observing different processes at manufacturing corporations so here they are observing the different process based on that they can analyze to analyze that we are using the calculus only they is they can help a company improve operating efficiency and increase production and raise profit so what are the analyzations they are doing that operations research analysts that will be help to improve the operating efficiency and increase the production and raise the profits these are they can do by using the calculus next coming to application in graphics so now in this new technologies we are using to do so many graphics in the movies and videos or video games so 
in uh, in nowadays in modern technology is very useful to edit the movies to edit the videos to edit the shots like that so now we can use this calculus also in this uh, graphics we can see a graphics artist uses calculus to determine how different three dimensional models will have when subjected to rapidly changing conditions so here to determine how different three dimensional models will behave how the three three dimensional models will behave when subjected to rapidly changed conditions so rapidly conditions are changed how three dimensional models will behave we can calculate or we can determine by using the calculus it can create a realistic environment for movies or video games so we can use this calculus so uh, for uh, which calculation it will be going to see realistic uh, movies or video games we can use the calculus now what are the daily life applications of a vector or a vector calculus we can observe here navigating by air and by boat is generally done using the vectors only so in our daily life so many ways we are using the vectors so navigating by air and by boat is generally done using by vectors only next planes are given a vector to travel and they use their speed to determine how far they need to go before turning or landing so so in the planes so before going to turning or before landing how far they can go so how much speed they can use before turning and before landing so they can uh, plan or they can determine based on the vector so flight plans are made using a series of vectors so only the angle the direction completely depending on so in the sports also we are using the vectors sports instructions are based on using vectors for example wide receivers playing american football might run a route where they can run 7 meters down the field before turning left 45 degrees and running in the running in that direction so here how much degrees we can turn how much running we can take up we can do in that direction that type of calculations we can do by using the vectors in the sports so not only for that we can use the vectors sports commentary for sports commentary also depends on vectors only a few sports have fields with grids so discussions revolve around the direction and the speed of the player so here commentary also depend on the vectors only and the turning directions and degrees speed this all depending on the direction that direction is we can calculate or we can use by using the vectors now application of vector space what is the application of vector space we can see here application of vector space is required in engineering and computer science vector spaces have many applications as they occur frequently in common circumstances what are the common circumstances when our the functions with the values in some fields are involved here first one is they are used in fourier transforms so vector spaces are used in fourier transforms next vector spaces furnish an abstract and coordinate free way of dealing with the geometrical and 
physical objects such as tensors. These vector spaces commonly used in Fourier transforms also and abstract coordinate dealing with the geometrical and physical objects such as tensors. Applications of vector space in computer science. Where, where we can use this vector space in computer science, we can see here the minimax theorem of game theory stating the existence of unique payoff when all players play optimally can be formulated and proven can be formulated and proven using the vector space methods. So about that all players how they are optimally played and that will be formulated. We can formulate those by using the vectors and we can prove by using the vector space methods. And coming to applications of vector space in linear algebra. So here Quantum mechanics is entirely based on it. Also important for time domain, control theory and stresses in materials using the tensors. So we can use this one in this way and we can use this one in the differential geometry also and the tangent plane to the surface at a point is naturally a vector space whose origin is identified with the point of contact. So here we can use this one in this way in the linear algebra and differential geometry also. Next coming to the vector calculus. Vector calculus plays an important role in differential geometry and in the study of partial differential equation. So just now uh, we discussed about this. The vector calculus is useful for the multivariable calculus and partial differential equations. So we can use this vector calculus in the study of partial differential equations. So, vector calculus also deals with two integrals. What are those known as line integrals and surface integrals? So, here in this vector calculus, we are having the two parts so vector differentiation and vector integration. So, in the vector differentiation, we are having divergence. Grad, curl, and directional derivative like this. These are the topics in vector differentiation. In the vector integration, we are going to learn about line integrals and surface integrals and some of the theorems like Green's theorem, Stokes theorem, and Gauss divergence theorem. So here the vector differentiation, divergence and the curl are two important operations on a vector field. They are important to the field of the calculus for several reasons including the use of curl and divergence to develop some higher dimensional versions of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So, in the fundamental theorem of calculus, we are very useful to develop some of the higher dimensional versions. So, these are the very, very important topics in the vector calculus, divergence and using of curl. In addition, curl and divergence appear in mathematical descriptions of fluid dynamics, electromagnetism and elasticity theory which are important concepts 
in physics and engineering. So in this one, just now uh, we discussed it here. So vector differentiation. So in the vector differentiation, we are going to know about the divergence, curl, and grad by. So that is del. About the del operator. And directional derivative. So these are the topics included in vector differentiation. Coming to vector integration. Here we are going to know about the vector integration. So line integral. And surface integral and next uh, we are have included some of the theorems Green's theorem, Stokes theorem and Gas dimensions there. So these are the topics we are having in vector integration, and these are the topics we are having in vector differentiation. So here the, we can use this vector calculus in so many ways in our daily lives. In everything we are including mathematics only. So what is the raw material what is the raw information is there we can model that information by using the mathematics to convert into the equation form so after converting into the equation form we can solve that equation we can solve that equation by using the various methods it may be a vector uh, methods or uh, solving methods what are suitable to that equation it's all that ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation to get the solution. So, so here in this way we can use vectors or vector calculus in our daily lives and in various fields. So here we can observe what is the importance of the vector and what is the importance of the vector calculus in our daily life, in our real life and various fields of the engineering and different fields of science and technology also thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates